Hello everyone. Welcome to DNA Reads. In this lecture, we will discuss about primer and the definition of primer and uh, different types of primers used in molecular biology and RDNA technology. What is primer? Primer is an initiator complex, initiator complex that is necessary for initiation or beginning of any process. This is what is the literal meaning of primer. Primer is an initiator complex necessary for beginning or initiation of the any process. You see, in terms of molecular biology, during the replication, primer is very much required to initiate the replication. You see, the definition, a short, a short single strand RNA or DNA molecule can base pair with template to begin DNA synthesis by DNA polymerases. A single strand DNA or RNA molecule which can, which can bind with the template and initiate the replication or synthesis of DNA by DNA polymerases, that is called as primer. So you see the primer is having five prime phosphate and three prime OH. So three prime OH where new nucleotides are incorporated or joined to the three prime OH and there is an elongation of the polynucleotide chain. You see three prime OH of the primer to which new nucleotides are added and they are complementary to the template sequence. They are not independent. They are added to the three prime OH of the primer by DNA polymerases, which are complementary to the template region, template strand. Here I'll explain. So you, as you know that RNA polymerases are having a capacity to synthesize the RNA molecule without any primer. They can do the de novo synthesis of uh, polynucleotides. So similar, same here in the replication, RNA polymerase or primase do synthesize the a primer whose length is three to 10 bases. That, that is complementary to the DNA strand and uh, this is nothing but a primer. So initiation of the replication is carried out by the RNA polymerase by synthesizing the primer, which is complementary to the template. So once the primer is synthesized, then the DNA polymerase elongates the primer, synthesizes the rest of the DNA. So during the replication, RNA polymerase synthesizes the primer and DNA polymerase completes the elongation and term, uh, elongation and completes the replication right so dna polymerase cannot synthesize its own primer by using the template strand hence it is taking the help of rna polymerase which synthesizes the primer by using the rna primer dna polymerase completes the synthesis of uh, dna the same thing you can see RNA polymerase and synthesize the primer which is having the 5 prime phosphate and 3 prime OH. Now the DNA polymerase can incorporate the nucleotides at 3 prime OH of the primer and elongates and uh, completes the DNA replication. Here you see different primers and their functions and uh, are uses in the molecular biology and DNA, RDNA technology. The first one is RNA primer, RNA primer. As you know that this primer is required for initiation of DNA replication in uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. 
whose length is 3 to 10 10 bases the second type of primer is tRNA primer you all know tRNA can also act as a primer in reverse transcription of uh, uh, retroviral RNA when uh, retroviral RNA enter into the host cell where uh, RNA is converted to DNA, right? In that host tRNA molecule binds to the RNA of viral RNA and the reverse transcriptase converts the RNA to DNA molecule. So tRNA also acts as a primer. That's during the transcript, reverse transcription. And the next one is DNA primers. In vitro synthesis of DNA through polymerase chain reaction, where two primers, gene-specific primers are used. They will bind to the specific regions and they amplify the DNA between these two uh, primers. So whose length is between 17 and above to 25 or sometimes 30 bases also. And DNA primers are also required for DNA sequencing. Whenever you clone a DNA, your gene of interest into the vector, that vector consists of universal primers. Universal primers. By using the universal primers, you can sequence the cloned fragment. Cloned fragment. And the oligo DT primers. Oligo DT primers. Oligo DT primers are used in the reverse transcription or cDNA synthesis. Oligo DT primers are used in the cDNA first strand cDNA synthesis. So usually eukaryotic mRNA carries the poly A type molecule, poly A type, poly A tail A tree prime. To transcribe that, oligo DT primer used, oligo DT goes and binds to the poly A tail of uh, uh, mRNA, then reverse transcriptase converts the mRNA into cDNA by using oligo DT primer. So this step, this is called as a first strand cDNA synthesis. Then the primers are also used in the uh, quantitative real-time PCR to analyze the expression of gene, to quantify the genes expressed during the various stages. Some genes are upregulated, some genes are downregulated. So by using the uh, pr small primers, you can uh, amplify the uh, DNA or RNA and tell the how much RNA is there in particular condition, how much DNA is there in the particular condition. So quantitative real-time PCR, you can quantify RNA as well as DNA by using the primers uh, through the quantitative real-time PCR. And another set, there is a random primers. Random primers length is, they are exonucleotide. Exonucleotide. They are used in the preparation of probes, labeling of probes. Labeled probes are used in the hybridization techniques such as southern blotting, northern blotting. Labeled probes are synthesized by using the random primers. Radioactive nucleotides or fluorescent dyes are incorporated into the DNA fragment by using the random primers. Those labeled probes are used in detection of RNA or DNA molecule in the unknown samples. These random primers, these probes can bind to the its, its DNA through the hybridization. Wherever there is a high, same sequence, they'll bind. And primers are also used in the uh, primer extension technique, primer extension technique, where this primer extension technique used to detect the pi prime, pi prime uh, transcription start size, start site. So to, to know the location of a transcription start site, primers are used and they'll be uh, complementary uh, DNA is synthesized later on they'll be sequenced and uh, understands the pi prime and three prime uh, transcription sites 
so this is all about uh, primers why i am presenting the primers to you all because i want to change the uh, my youtube channel name dna deeds to primer because whatever lecture i am uh, giving here they are all primers for your learning so you can use the my lectures as a primer to learn about uh, rdn technology or other subjects so today onwards my lecture my youtube channel name is dr k prem primer dr k prem primer so my lectures will be a primer for your learning thank you all for uh, listening if at all you like it just subscribe if you have any questions comment in the comment section and i'll get back to you thank you all see you again with the one more video by next friday